Hi everybody, it's Tina here from Hummingbird Tales. Um, it's been a really busy summer because I've had my children um, from home from school on summer holidays. So I've been slowly trying to get a journal finished. Um, hopefully I should have one finished by Monday and have a video up of that particular journal. Anyway, I decided to treat myself. So I asked Kathy Cadill. Um, it's spelt C-A-D-I-L-E, so I don't know if it's Cadil or Cadile from Keep It Shabby, if she would make me one of her beautiful journals. And it's arrived, so I thought I would open it with you guys here and share it. I know she's already done a video um, of a flip through, but I really wanted to share it on my channel. Um, so here goes. Oh, she's put a beautiful ivory ribbon, satin ribbon around it, which I can use for something. There was a, a little note on this, but I did take it off because I wanted to keep that confidential. I don't want to destroy this too much. Oh my goodness, it is a big journal. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely stunning and it's so nice to hold. I don't know if you can see that. She's got some seam binding and some different colour satin ribbons and lace and eyelash trim on the binder ring and look at this gorgeous flower layered up with lace and burlap there's a beautiful pearl gem here and turn it over there's Kathy's signature I did choose this fabric. She gave me the choice of three. Um, and I don't know if you know this, but blue is my favourite colour. And this one really jumped out at me. All the others were just beautiful as well. But I really like the look of this. And I'm so glad I chose this one. Gosh, look how thick that is. I saw um, one of Kathy's journals on YouTube. And uh, I fell in love with her work, so I just had to have one. And the closure is satin ribbon. And there's this beautiful little girl on some vintage paper on corrugated card. And that's layered up with lace and music paper. It's absolutely gorgeous. So let's open it. Ooh. Goodness. I don't know if you can see it, but this is all, it all looks like it's quilted. I'm not sure. Unless it's, the, I think it's the fabric, but it's beautiful. Oh. And leave that there a sec. The, the paper, let's corset here. I love vintage looking anything. This is beautiful. So she's made a lovely tag. I'm sorry about my filming at the moment. I need to replace the tripod I normally use. So I've got a little one here stacked up on some books to try and get this filmed. <laughs> On the back, the Paris stamp. And she's got another pocket with some lace and some stamping. And this tag, which has got a gorgeous picture of a little boy and girl. Isn't that lovely? 
And there's a little tiny flower there. And up here she's put some lace and some seam binding. This is actually paper. I thought it was fabric when I um, was watching her flip through, but isn't it amazing? How things are so much different on film than when you get them in your hands. But her stitching is so neat and so precise all around. It is stunning. You could hear my dog there running out of the flat. Here's another beautiful pocket and this lovely ribbon. Sorry, I keep getting my hands in the way. And this beautiful paper backing it inside. Oh, look at those little girls. They're so cute. This is really precious. Envelope. And there's a journaling card or tag. And I love this. This is one of my favourite stamps. And we don't get it in the UK. All of us British girls are so jealous of our American friends because they really do have such a choice. And here we have another little envelope. Let's get it in frame. And it's got one of these little, I think it's a Tim Holtz clip with bling. It's really sweet. Do I squeeze it? I don't know what to do. Do I pull it? Um, I don't know. I'm not going to fiddle. There is an envelope and there's something inside, but I don't want to pull it off. I'm too afraid I'm going to wreck it. And here we've got some uh, is it glassine paper. It could be some sort of wax paper and here there's another shabby flower which is so pretty all layered with what looks like to be some cheesecloth and a doily here and there's this lovely tag my dog's over here showing off let me just show you him this is bandit hello bandit he is a show off and he knows I'm not giving him attention at the moment so he's going to try his best to get my attention. <laughs> These stamps are fantastic aren't they? There's a lot of sewing in this Cathy, it's really beautiful. Now I love this stamp, Tiffany and Company. And this is another stamp that I know is coveted so much because we just can't get it here. It's beautiful. And there's lace here. And inside, there's a glassine bag with this image of this beautiful little girl. And the tag. Oh, isn't that lovely? I just really appreciate everybody else's art and the way that they put their journals together because it just inspires me so much and it doesn't matter if they're grungy or more pretty or more junky I love it all and here's a beautiful picture of a little girl with one of these fabulous scary clips <laughs> But that one looks like it might just come off a bit easier. Yeah. Can you see that? Isn't that funny and amazing? I haven't seen anything like that here. So we've got a ticket with Cherish. And a mason jar. 
and this long envelope and inside oh it's a journaling tag you're my winter summer oh Kathy, I love this. It's absolutely beautiful. I am so grateful that you made this for me. How on earth are you supposed to open them? Oh, you just slipped them on. Okay. Learned something there. We have like a library type pocket here and she's got some burlap and a little tag. And inside here is this beautiful tag with a doily and a flower and on the back it says vintage finds such pretty lace there wow so we've got some more satin ribbon and we've got a Tim Holtz mini paper clip and here there's some tags. And inside the envelope. Some journaling cards or tags, whatever you like to call them. You see how neat Kathy sews around these beautiful tags. I do sewing in my journals, but I'm not as neat as that, I'm afraid. So I like mine to look a bit rustic. That's my excuse and that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Trying to handle all of these little bits. That's truly lovely. I love it. fiddle with it properly later when I'm not on film wasting the minutes okay oops so here we've got one of these vintage printed bags and we've got needles nickel plated cruel embroidery um, image here and inside this is a lovely tag Vintage finds on it, and inside we've got lovely little booklet. Oh, I love these, these are so cute. I really like these, Kathy. Oh, isn't that lovely? Vintage finds. This is something to put special little notes in or photos. And there's that beautiful stamp. It's gorgeous. It's that little girl's face. She don't look very happy, does she? <laughs> and now we're in the centre. I might have to pause this halfway through and do a part two. Because I don't want to rush it. And... Uh, I'm going to go over my time. Now these clips, or little dangles, I've got some of these. And they're from Denise's shop, which is Tattered Dream. And that's on Etsy. And they're really handy little things to have. I like the way that this has been used by Kathy. And we have a glassine envelope. Envelope inside we've got a little tag discover on it and there's a nice layered little picture of a little girl I like I like this 
putting the doily in the centre of the signature. I've seen a couple of other ladies do that and I think it's a really nice idea. I like that. Is this open? No. Is it? No. And here we've got oh, another little tag. Oh, look at those. Penny blacks. That's lovely. Handmade is best. I agree. Beautiful images. Here's another pocket with this lovely fabric that looks quilted and it's been stamped and there's some pretty lace here and inside oh, isn't that lovely this is um, the fabric that's on the front and back cover and it's a little notebook So pretty. Oh, I love this effect. I don't know what this paper is, but that is gorgeous, Kathy. What a lovely idea. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. This is definitely something that I'm going to use as a special journal. So here we have another piece of lace. And inside this, we have another envelope with another pretty little girl with a doll. And this has got the corrugated card and cheesecloth. And on it is a little, like a clip. With a little key charm hanging off and inside and get it out this um disobedient disobey I think this is some sort of um index of a dictionary perhaps and there's some ephemera there. Absolutely lovely. Now I'm going to turn this off and do part two in a moment. So I'll see you in a sec. 